Okay, so now we are ready to add some content that actually makes sense up here. Um, so let's open up our JavaScript file, the index.js here. And first of all, I need some data to populate this with. And uh, I'm just going to make an array with all of the different start nodes. And uh, let's call it start nodes. That makes sense. And let's make it an array with strings. The first one, I want it to be C and so on the next one in line will be c sharp the next one will be actually d flat which is enharmonic with c sharp but it's good to have both of them here so the next one will be d and so on i'm just going to speed this up so you don't have to watch me type everything out and welcome back now i typed in all of the different notes from c to c uh, I'm just going to zoom out a little bit so you can see all of them. So I just start calling this start note is an array with strings and it's from C, C sharp, D flat, D, D sharp, E flat, E, F, F sharp, G flat, flat, and so on, all the way up to B, to the note B. So we're going to use this array to populate uh, the start note selector over here. But first we need to get a hold of that selector and I can't remember what I called it before so I will go back to index.html and find out the select name is start note. So I'm just going to grab that. I'm going to go to my index.js again and let's make, let's grab that, let's make a constant and let's call it um, octave selector. Sorry, of course not octave, like start, start note selector. a good name for it and we're gonna use document query selector and it has an ID of start node yep that should be it so now we have access to that so let's populate that I will make an object and put all of the app stuff in uh, in that object. That's the way I, I like to do it, and it's a way that it's easier for me to organize my code. So I'm gonna make a const, just gonna call it app, and I will set that equal to an object. So let's make our first method here, and let's call that setup start notes. And I'm gonna use ES6 syntax here, because it looks better. And let's let's grab this start notes here and let's uh, do something with each single one entry in this uh, in this array. So start notes for each for each of these notes, we want to create an option in here. So we don't have to do this manually. So I'm going to go back to here and we want to use the the note name so that will be passed in that th this will be the note name for every single one that is in here I'm gonna use an arrow function and I'm gonna open up like this and we want to find out what the note name option should be so I'm gonna let note name option equal uh, we're gonna need to create a new element here, so I'm gonna I'm just gonna write this create element. We haven't yet created this create element, and I'm gonna make a method on this same object in a moment where we can uh, create these element. The first thing I want to pass into it is option, because that's the kind of element we want to create. And then I want to pass in what the content of this should be. So it's going to be the note name. And that should be it for now. So right now this doesn't make any sense, but I'm going to add another method down here. And it will be called create element. And it's going to take an element name and it's going to take the content for that. So what we want to do here is we want to let the element be document create element 
and then we want to create the element that we pass into it so that would be element name and when we're using it from up here that would be option so we're going to create an option element and then we're going to take that element that we just created and we are going to put inner html should be the content and that's the content that we pass in here and then we will just return that element and the reason i'm doing this is uh because we're going to be making uh we're going to be making the chord buttons too we're going to be making this one so we will need to reuse this one and there's no reason to put to create the elements in every single method up here so reuse reduce and recycle is always good so let's get back to the setup start notes so n now the note name option element will be uh a new element of option and it will have the content this so all we have to do now is add this to the to the arc to the sorry to the start note uh select here and i think we already took that one we already grabbed that one here so i will go down on the next line and i will say start note selector and i will append child and we will append the child note name option so that should take it and append it every single one of these to the to the selector here i'm going to save this and see what happens nothing happened so the reason nothing is happening here is because we actually didn't initialize anything so i'm just going to go to app and run the setup start notes then it should hopefully work let's try it out i'm going to save and i'm going to look at this and as you can see we have a lot of different start notes to choose from here we also still have the cdefg that's because i manually added those in here i will delete them because we don't need them anymore i'm going to save that and we will see that uh, i get the c c sharp d flat d and so on and that is taken from from this uh array that we set up here and we will need to do almost the same thing with uh, with the octave here. Let's create a new method on this object and let's call it setup octaves. I need to put a comma here. And let's let's create a simple for loop. For let i equal. Let's start from zero. Or actually, let's start from octave number one, because there's not a zero if octave. And as long as i is less than or equal to seven, because we want seven octaves, then increment i. And we're going to do basically the same thing as we did up here in uh, setup start notes. So that means we will let octave number if I could spell number, let that be the element that we're creating. So that will be this because we're referring to this object. When I type this here, uh, this will mean the object that we're inside of right now. So it'll go to the object and it'll find the method that, that we created here. So this create element and we're going to pass in. We want the same type of element here that's an option element and we want it to be i that we pass in here so we get the number and we're gonna do start note selector that we don't have that we need an octave selector i haven't grabbed that yet so let me do that up here first so const um octave selector is document Query. Oh man, it's so hard to type this. Q U E R Y S. Just like that. It's not that bad. It's not that hard. And what did we call this one? We called it just octave. Great. Good. So now we have that and we will. Um, grab this one here and we will 
append child of octave number. And nothing will probably happen here because I didn't activate it. I didn't initialize it. So set up. And we should get some more octaves here. And we do. We still have the one, two, three, which we don't want. So I'm going to go back to my index file and remove these dummy option values like this. Let's save it again. And now we should have from one to seven. And we do which is great, but I noticed something here. Instead of going into this uh, object every time and calling these, we should probably start this this object with uh, an init to initialize it. So we only have to call the init and that will initialize all the different stuff we, we want to happen. So I will take this and set up start notes and I will do the same for the octave selector so this set up octaves and all we need to do here is call this method to initialize everything I'm gonna save that and you should see exactly the same thing we still have the the note names here and we still have the octaves here so that's how we will do that for now. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to do it for the course. That's a little bit more complicated because we need to get the names from the course. And we're actually going to be using Tonal for that. There's a chord dictionary in Tonal and we're going to grab all the names of the chords from that and put them in each, give them each a button. Um, yeah, so join me in the next video for that. See you there.